Today we're going to be learning about the color halftone filter in Photoshop, what it is, how it works, and how we can create effects like this. So let's get started. All right, so here I am in Photoshop and this is the finished result of what we're going for, but let's figure out how we got there. So let's turn that layer off. In fact, we're just going to delete it. And right here I have the woman layer and I have a white background layer. So I'm going to first create a new layer and I'm going to press shift backspace or I believe that shift delete on the Mac and that'll open up the field dialog. And what I want to do is click here and select 50% gray and click OK. So I'm going to right click on that layer and go to convert to smart object. OK, or you could alternatively go to filter, convert for smart filters. All right. Now I'm going to go to filter, pixelate, color halftone. And that's going to give me this dialog box with five different boxes to choose from. Now the first box is going to decide the size of the circles and you can choose a number as low as four or a number as high as 127. If you try any numbers below or above those, you're going to get this uh, error message saying a value between 4 and 127 is requested. Closest value uh, entered, inserted. Okay, so I chose 200, it selected 127. Okay, so let's uh, change these other channels to zero. We'll explain them in a little and let's see what that gives us. Okay, so it gives us these little black dots. If I were to go back in and change that to about 50, I want you to just see we get smaller black dots. Okay, so the biggest dots we can have are 127, the smallest we can have is 50. So now I'm going to go down to channel one. And these different channels are basically the different color channels we know from RGBW and CMYK. RGBW meaning red, green, blue, and white, and CMYK meaning cyan, magenta, uh, yellow, and black. And so what we want to do is to understand what each one of these actually does. So channel one will create half um, half dome dots, which will be in which will be red and cyan. And the number you enter will determine how uh, much they are rotated and offset from each black dot we have in the the base effect right here. So let's make these dots a little bigger. Let's go up to 100, right? All right, that's good. And then what I'm going to do is in channel one, I'm going to put in 50. Now remember, this channel deals with red and cyan. So let's click OK. And you'll see I got these red and cyan circles, which were created around each black dot, red and cyan. And they're offset by a certain amount uh, from each of these black dots. OK. So if I were to increase the number to something like uh, let's do 100, it's going to rotate them more and offset them more from each of those black dots. You can go all the way up to 360, which will <laughs> rotate them all the way off. Let's choose something like 300. All right, and they're still there. Um, and you can also go into the negatives, which will rotate them to the left. So if I let's let me just show you something. So if I go to 100 and then I type in something like negative 100. That'll just rotate them in the other direction. As you can see, they're kind of slanted now. So channel one deals with red and cyan. Channel two deals with green and magenta. Remember RGB. Y, uh, R, G, B, C, M, Y. So R, G, G for green, C, M, M for magenta. So this is going to create green and magenta circles. All right. And next channel three, that's going to create blue and yellow circles. So I, I need a zero on there. Blue and yellow circles. So let's click OK. And you get blue and yellow circles. Now, if you were to place the same number in each one of these channels, um, 
what you'll get is this all black effect because each one of those color channels are uh, combining all of those color channels are being combined and basically canceling each other out and creating the the color of the original uh, image which was these black dots that we got here so also it's important to note that channel 4 only deals with black so if I were to go to 0 0 0 and place a let's say 50 in here click OK you'll notice that the black dots are rotated and that's because uh, it doesn't add any color it's only dealing with black so what's happening is that it's just uh, rotating those black dots uh, by 50 degrees from where they were rotated so I'm gonna press 0 and click OK and get back to our, our base effect okay so here we are so the next thing I'm going to do in order to get our effect what we want to do is to offset each color channel a little bit more than the previous channel so channel 1 is going to be rotated by 50 degrees channel 2 will be rotated by 150 degrees and channel 3 is going to be rotated by 300 degrees and I'm going to click OK and so that way you can see all of the different color dots and that's basically the effect we're going to be using to create our uh, halftone effect for our model so let's delete that layer and now let's deal with our model so we have this woman with a white background behind her and then we have this white background uh, beneath that layer so let's press Control J or Command J on the Mac to duplicate or jump that layer up to the next uh, as a new layer and I'm going to rename this as body and I'm going to use this for the woman's body um, next I'm going to get my rectangular marquee tool right here or you can press M and I'm going to zoom out just a little and I want a selection of her eyes so right there is fine press control J and that's this is what's on that layer okay I'm going to rename that to eyes I'm going to select the body layer again and I want just a selection of her lips so I'm going to use the object selection tool that is the simplest one for me and just draw around it Adobe will figure out that I'm trying to select her lips and then press control J or command J on the Mac and that's going to give me just a selection of her lips and I'm going to name that lips alright next I want to right click on each one of these layers and convert to smart object convert to smart object and alright there we go so let's apply our filters now because we already have our filter settings set up what we can do is press control alt F on a layer and that's going to apply the last filter you uh, you use and so our settings are already set a max radius of 100 channel 1 is 50 channel 2 is 150 and channel 3 is 300 let's click OK and those dots are a little too big I mean they do look kind of cool you could leave them like that but I'm gonna change the max radius to 50 and click OK huh you know what I actually like them at 100 so let's just keep them there <laughs> I actually like that more than what I did last time now the lips press control alt F command option F on a Mac and uh, let's change that back up to 100 click OK you know what for the lips that actually might be too big so let's uh, make that 50 and then select the eye layer control alt F or command option F and click OK uh, now what I want to do is for the body layer let's create a mask press G for the gradient tool and mine is set to black to white but I want white to black so I'm going to press X just to uh, switch those colors you might have to press it twice sometimes and draw from the bottom of the lady up to about the bottom of her chin so about right there I might get a little bit more like right there All right, that's fine and then for the lips layer I'm gonna just go to blending modes and change that to darken color and that'll help those half tones blend a little better so let me show you the before and after here's the before and here's the after all right then for the eyes layer I'm just going to use the move tool and I'm going to just scoot that over to the right some 
and basically that's the gist of our effect. That's how the color halftone filter works in Photoshop. If you found this to be helpful, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments how you'll be using this in your graphic work. And until next time, remember, take chances, make mistakes, and create something incredible. Have a blessed one.